Membrane transport proteins are often talked about in textbooks, but very rarely are they actually classified and defined. So this I went ahead and branched it off into both active and then lastly the passive membrane transport proteins. For active transport obviously we have primary and then secondary classification. For primary most of what you're talking about in this is pumps. And for the three types of pumps I want to say included the ATP binding cassettes, the P-type ATPases, and then lastly just others. For secondary obviously we have the symporters and then the antiporters. One meaning the same direction and then the other one is going in the opposite. And then lastly, for passive, we have uniporters, channels, and then pores. So what's the difference between a pore and a channel? Well, a pore is broad. It's always open. It's accessible to everything. Their channels, however, tend to be just pores that have a gate attached to them. 